It's good to see you. We've been seeing this rotation play out in public markets from semiconductors to software. I'm curious if you're seeing that play out at all in the venture capital world or in what's driving it. We are. Uh, AI is really kind of the next uh, big web 1.0 for this moment. It feels just like the late 90s in terms of the innovation that's happening and all the investment across every sector in tech. Um, AI is almost redefining, I'd say, almost every vertical that we've seen. So uh, in short, we haven't seen anything like it. Yeah, no, it's pretty incredible to watch. And I think we're, we're also looking forward to come January 20th is as this cabinet gets assembled under President-elect Trump, uh, the number of individuals coming out from Silicon Valley, uh, whether it's David Sachs, uh, of course, Elon Musk, who I know you know very well. Uh, and then in recent days, Sri Ram Krishnan, a former partner at Andreessen Horowitz, uh, who now will be an advisor on artificial intelligence policy. Uh, this is all seen, I know, for, uh, from a market perspective as good news for tech. But which policies are you expecting these individuals to fast track? Yeah, I mean, in general, I think um, we respect all of these uh, these folks kind of tech perspective and innovation perspective uh, and America first perspective. So what that means is, I think, with regards to crypto and artificial intelligence, um, that it's going to continue to grow at a blistering pace and probably even accelerate. Um, there'll be less regulation of these industries, uh, but also at the same time, an important playbook for founders. Um, for example, in crypto, I think a lot of crypto founders and Web3 founders really uh, wanted to know um, what would be deemed legal and illegal, like very simple and basic um, kind of tenants so that you can build a, a very large business. And I think up until this moment, there's a lot of uncertainty. Um, but certainly with these folks, that's one of the first things. Um, you know that they want to create is this is this playbook and these guide rails guardrails sorry where big businesses can be built so that's kind of more in web3 than ai with regards to ai i think we're just going to see um just incredible growth um you know the us really wanting to win the ai battle fueling uh american semiconductors for example all the way up not just the foundational layer, but all the way up to the LLMs and, of course, the applications. And I think that that frenzy um, will be a you know pretty dramatic change in culture um, and an inspiration for American mm -hmm. entrepreneurs. What does this all? Yeah. No, it's interesting the way you sort of phrase it. What does this all mean for valuations, which I know have been uh, moving higher <laughs> in recent weeks? Yeah, I mean, you know, you've definitely seen um, some pretty large deals, you know, notwithstanding OpenAI's, you know, $150 billion post money uh, valuation. Um, you know, Perplexity, which is an application uh, for AI search, recently raised at $9 billion post money. Um, so, yeah, so these valuations are, um, are obviously pretty high. Um, but, you know, that being said, there's still a lot of promise that these companies are going to grow into and even surpass those valuations. So I don't, you know, I think there is a little bit of a, um, you know, a hype, uh, a hype bubble. But uh, I am, I'm pretty positive that majority of these companies will grow and surpass, you know, these valuations today.